Greetings everyone. Uh, one of the videos that I promise and is actually one of the most requested is how do I take my Zoom recording uh, and upload that to my learning management system. Um, I honestly recommend using YouTube for that so I'm going to take you through the steps on how to do that. Uh, I'm going to sign into my Zoom account um, because my goal right here is to record a little introduction, something that's just me talking to students, nothing else, maybe sharing my screen a little bit. Uh, so typically I would go into my meetings, uh, my personal meeting room, and I would just start a meeting. Keep in mind that this URL doesn't change for your personal meeting room. Um, but I'm just gonna start the meeting right away, let the Zoom open up and do all of its things. Uh, once that happens, I am going to not, or I'm going to join with computer audio. Um, because I'm using my camera already to record this video, I can't start the video here to, to show you, but normally you could just see yourself. You could talk to your students, um, recording whatever it is that you want to do. Make sure, unless you have it in your settings to automatic record, make sure you hit the record button. You'll see the little recorder going on up there. Um, even has a pause in case you want to record, pause, look at your notes, do those types of things, and then resume it. Um, the other nice thing is you can use the share your screen. Um, so when you share the, the screen, you pick the screen that you want or even the application that you want, and now you can open up a PowerPoint to do whatever you would normally do um, as you continue kind of going through your, your routine here. Uh, browse the web. When you want to go back to your full um, screen face, click the stop share. Um, it'll jump back to you. Now, when you are finished with the meeting, even if you don't hit the stop recording button, when you're finished with the meeting, um, click the end meeting button. I'm the only one here, but I'm going to end it for all. And you're going to notice this little pop-up that says it's converting the meeting recording. Now, the important part when you're finished with that is make sure that you know where you're putting this thing. I recommend personally finding your videos wherever you store all of those things uh, and re saving the video there. Now, the next step is going to be uploading that video to YouTube. So here I'm pulling over the, the Zoom meeting. You can see it in the folder for videos there. There's the Zoom meeting that I just did. I want to put that on my YouTube channel. So I am going to quickly log in uh, to YouTube. And I'm going to jump over to my channel. Um, specifically, the YouTube Studio is where I usually go over to because that will show me all of my videos, etc., and the, the things going on. So um, when you're in your YouTube Studio or on your channel or wherever you see the little Upload Video button here, um, you can click on the Upload Video and, quite honestly, just drag that video um, from the location that it was at before and drop it in there. When the video is uploading, a few of the preliminary things that you can do is give it a, a name. So here's my sample Zoom recording. Um, give a description if you want. That's completely up to you. Um, once the video is processed, you can pick a thumbnail or if you have a little image that you want to use as the background for your video, you can do that as well. Uh, if you have multiple playlists, you can put that into a playlist right away. Uh, you do need to answer whether or not it's made for kids. Now, made for kids means it's specifically intended for kids, not the fact that it's okay for kids to watch. So this one is not made for kids. Um, one of the other things that I would recommend uh, understanding is the visibility. Uh, when you use the visibility, a public video is the video that is going to show up on your dashboard. Um, you'll see my dashboard, my channel. These are the ones that are public videos um, that I've specifically marked as public. They can go onto your channel. Unlisted videos don't go on there. Um, they're not searchable. You can't find them. You have to share the link with someone. This is the way that I do most of my uh, videos that are not really intended for public consumption. Um, a private video means really only you can see that video. It's great for just storing things for yourself. Um, you could also share a private video with another Google account. Um, 
not really going to be the best for uh, using to share with students because you would have to have their Google account email address, not their WLC one. So uh, I would use the unlisted uh, video as you're doing that. It's mine set to do that by default. This is the link right over here that you can share. Um, regardless, whenever you have videos and you come into your YouTube uh, channel studio like I have here, um, I could jump over to content and see all the videos that I've created. You can see some public, some unlisted. Um, if you wanted to share one of these videos with someone, you could use the little uh, three dots here and say get the shareable link. Uh, you could also just go to the video watch it on YouTube and that's where you're gonna find some of the other options if you wanted to share it differently like sharing using Pinterest LinkedIn Facebook all of those things but hopefully that will help you get started um, taking a zoom video and sharing it to YouTube uh, keep in mind with your YouTube account you probably want to have a verified YouTube channel uh, meaning that you just have to enter a phone number, they'll text you a code, um, you can do that. I have a video that shows uh, kind of the walkthrough on that as well. Um, but otherwise, that is how you take a Zoom video and upload it to YouTube.